What's up guys, Jed my friend, welcome to a brand new video guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an effective piece of art guys and before we start the video guys I just wanted to say all the things I show you in this video guys were made up by me guys and I'm pretty proud of it guys anyways let's get into it guys so um first of all what i did i'm um, by the way i made this up yesterday guys and i'm pretty proud of it anyways first of all what you need to do is you need to get a piece of paper guys now it doesn't really matter what like type of paper it is it just needs to be some normal white paper as usual what i did yesterday was i got some a4 piece of paper and i cut in half half with the old like trusty scissors and that's what you need to do guys and second of all you need a pencil guys now it doesn't really matter what pencil i'm going to be using the hb pencil for this it doesn't matter what pencil and then you're going to need a rubber guys now i'm not really sure if it has to be a specific type of rubber i'm not sure but the one i've i've done um that i tried it out with was this one and that this is the one that we're going to be using today the hb rubber guys i'm not sure if it works with other rubbers guys it, it might but um if you if you do have this one then that'd be good to use it anyways let's go into it so now now you have your piece of paper your trusty pencil and your lovely rubber on the bottom of it secondly what you need to do is now you just need to lightly just shade on the piece of paper just start lightly shading this will probably take about maybe a minute or two and i'll cut back once i've fully shaded the paper okay guys so now i've shaded in the paper guys and um, so now what i'm going to do is make a word look like out effective in this piece of artwork guys so the word we're going to be using to look outstanding is the word lol that's the word we're going to be using in this artwork guys if you don't know lol is one of them kind of like cool trendy words that people use if you don't know it stands for laugh out loud guys and people use it quite a lot in today's world guys anyways we're going to be using that as an example guys so basically all you need to do is you need to get your rubber that i said about earlier and now as i said earlier um i'm not sure if this works on any other rubbers the only one i've used it with so far is the hb rubber so if you so if you do have a hb rubber then i recommend using it for this anyway oh, Anyway, so the, we're going to be using Lala Zar example. So what you need to do is you need to like make the L look pretty good. There we go. I think that's all right. And then we need to do our O. I think that looks pretty good. And then we need to do the other L. There we go, guys. I, I, I think that looks all right. Maybe we need to do a bit more shading here, guys. I might have to do a bit more there to make it a, lo a little bit more effective, guys. I don't think that's my best one so far, guys. But I think it looks quite all right, guys. I think I might have to do a bit more shading over here, guys. Anyways, I think that looks pretty good in my opinion, guys. But I think the one that I'm going to show you guys right now looks a little bit better. This is the one I did yesterday, guys. This is the first one. These are the only two ones I've done so far far but i think this one that i just showed you guys looks pretty good um it's it's the word i've used for this one guys is idk i don't know and if you don't know what that stands for idk it stands for i don't know guys that's what it stands for guys so this is the piece i did yesterday guys and this is the piece that i just did guys what do you guys think i think in my opinion this one right here guys is the better one but what do you guys think so this is the art piece that i came up with yesterday guys i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one goodbye for now